So obviously my skin was really bad, it was red, it was itchy, it was lumpy, it was sore, it was everywhere on my face, down my neck, on my chest, on my back. It really did lower my self esteem. Um, I didn't even want to not wear foundation on my face because I was so, you know, embarrassed with my skin. So even though you could still see, you know, through the makeup as well, with some mask. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to share with you some tips. Obviously, it's not fantastic yet. It's not great, but it is improving from what it was. And I just feel like I need to share that with people. Share what I've been doing. So number one. Go to bed early. Don't go to bed at midnight every night or 11.30 p.m. No, like talking to your boyfriends and fucking... You need to take care of yourself. You know, go to bed early, 8, 9 p.m. Really good time to kind of get a routine into. Regulates your hormones, improves your immune system, so prevents you from sickness. Um, really important, hormone health, really important, really important. It really is. Going on the pill, don't do it. Don't go on the pill, that's what fucks up your hormones, your HBG axis. You're not going to be fucking functioning properly if you're on a fucking sex steroid. But don't listen to someone who tells you to pop a pill just because you've got a pimple on your cheek. Don't do it, it's not worth it. it just fuck up other things in your body. Um, pump your lymphatic system, so sweating. Sweating through the largest organ of your body, which is your skin will get rid of toxins, you know? It'll get rid of the things that are in your body trying to get out. Also, after you exercise, wash your face. Have a shower or something because you don't want the sweat to stay on your skin, which will further, you know, be absorbed by your fucking skin. So it makes no sense. Uh, eating low fat and staying away from oil really worked for me too. When I go out and eat a few days a week, um, yeah, I get breakouts. And that's one thing that... I did, I cut out advert fat, so avocado, coconut fat that you eat stays in your bloodstream for up to 48 hours. That means you have fatty blood, which means it's going to come out onto your skin, which leads to oily skin, right? Yeah. Staying away from oil, obviously high carb, low fat, vegan, raw fruit, high fruit, high fiber, high water, high carbohydrate, cleanses your colon. So no animal flesh rotting in there, in your body. None of that. Your body is not a grave for corpse. So no meat, eggs, dairy, etc. Filled with hormones. IGF-1 bovine growth hormone. Pathogenic bacteria, uric acid, intestinal parasitic worms, cholesterol, adrenaline. All in animal products. Not necessary and very harmful to the human body. So, going vegan. Hydration, so you're pissing 8 to 12 times a day. Clear, clear pee, not, not yellow like my top. Clear, clear pissing. Stress, so not stressing about the bad skin you have when you're trying to get good skin because the stress you have is left in the body. Um, not caring what other people think. You know, if they stop you on the streets, give you a mean look, to fucking give me the finger or something, because it doesn't matter what they think of you, you're your own person, it's just, it's just a cosmetic thing, it's not a big issue. Um, no cosmetics, no moisturisers, no nothing on your skin, don't fuck up your pH levels, don't clog and block your skin from breathing. Just wash your skin with water a few times a day. Just give it a wash, damp down with a towel. Um, don't put anything on it. Your skin wants to breathe. But don't put chemicals on your skin. Don't, you know, add to the problem. Okay, food combining as well. A lot of people just assume that they're detoxing and, oh, you know, it's raw food. But then they're mixing up their food and their stomach gets all confused and their body gets confused. So after you've had like a cooked meal, don't have a banana smoothie or watermelon after it. It's just gonna, you know what happens? All right, I'll explain it. Your cooked food takes longer to digest than fruit does. So while potatoes and rice take about five, four hours to digest, your banana smoothie will take about an hour. So it's sitting up on top of that food fermenting and rotting. And that, you know, gives you bloating, gas, and bad skin as well. So what happened to me, I was 
you know, just mixing up my food combining and just didn't go down the tracks. So there are a few things that have been working for me. Um, oh, one more thing when I'm talking about exercise. Exercise outside. You don't want to be inside in the gym, like breathing in someone else's sweat and detox and, you know, fucking smelly socks. You want to be outside in the open, in the fresh air, breathing in oxygen through your mouth, getting it in, in the sun, you know, getting vitamin D, really, also really important for the skin. Sorry, I fucking missed that one. Sun is like a disinfectant on your skin, you know, it's like a, it kills and dries up any bacteria and excess oil in your skin same with seawater in the ocean go go to the ocean as much as you can it also is like a disinfectant kills bacteria um dries up any shit so yeah hope my tips work um make another video soon just saying how i'm going so leave your comments down below what's worked for you and yeah carb up